Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making some great holiday appetizers. I am so excited. So I've got three holiday appetizers I'm going to be making today. If you want even more inspiration, I did a video last year and it's recently gotten a lot of views again and I know a lot of people love that video. It's this one here. So I will pop the picture here and then I'll also put a link to it up in the eye. But you'll be getting three today and then there's three in that one if you missed it. When it comes to the holidays, I love to just spend time in the kitchen making easy finger foods that when we're having a get together, people can just kind of come and graze in the kitchen before any main type of meal. We usually host a Christmas Eve brunch here at our house and it's all just these little appetizers, finger foods all over the place. Everyone loves it. I'm also going to be sharing with you today our favorite way to do hot chocolate. It's dark hot chocolate and it comes from Thrive Market. They are sponsoring today's video and I've got a really great deal for y'all where you can save 30% on your first order. I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, that's enough chatting. Let's jump into the video. The first one I'm making is a twist on something that I make pretty much every year. And I don't know why I've never heard this twist before. I'm hoping it's going to become a new favorite and a new favorite way to make it. But we are making cocktail meatballs, but we're using cranberry sauce. This is it. This is all the ingredients. If you can't find chili sauce or if you don't like chili sauce, you could always just replace it with barbecue sauce. And then normally this ingredient would be grape jelly for me. That's what I've always done, always. But this year I've seen this pop up several times of replacing the grape jelly for cranberry sauce, which makes total sense. So let's do that. I don't have an entire jar of this chili sauce, so I may actually throw some barbecue sauce in here with it just so I have enough. And now let's just pour in our cranberry sauce and let's mix it all together. Okay, I do feel like it is a little cranberry-ish and doesn't have enough of the liquid. So I am gonna add just a little bit of this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce in with it. And that was it. Like this is one of the easiest go-to. So if you were looking for a great appetizer to take to a get together, and you don't have a lot of time, this is your best bet. So I'm gonna just dump all of these meatballs in here. I'm using my smaller crock pot today. And these meatballs are a little bit larger than I'm typically used to, but that's okay. That's all my grocery store had. And now I'm just gonna pour our sauce over top. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook while we are making our other appetizers. I'm just gonna put it on high for now. I may change it over to low, but it won't need four hours. That's just what this setting has on this particular crock pot. It'll probably just be a couple of hours. Okay, so we've got our meatballs going. It's time to do another one that's gonna take a couple of hours to set up. I wanna make a little confession here. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I have never made a cheese ball of any sort. And I love them. I love when someone has them at a get together because I love dipping pretzels into them. I've never made one. This one stood out to me. It's a little bit different and it sounds so yummy. This is called a dill pickle cheese ball. I'm going to be making half of the recipe because it's just me, Steven, and Cole here. It calls for 16 ounces of cream cheese. It's a larger cheese ball. We don't need that. So I'm going to half the recipe, but this sounds so good. And I'm so excited to finally make my very first cheese ball. <laughs> Let's do it. Now the recipe calls for cheddar cheese, but I have already opened this Colby Jack, so we're just gonna use it. And of course you could buy already pre-shredded cheese. You know where this is about to go. And if you're new here, you may have thought I was gonna eat it, but there is a little furry creature down here. There you go, little girl. Gracie Lou got her cheese. The only other things I need to do is just chop some of this fresh dill it will go into the cheese ball and on the outside. I need to get a little bit of the lemon zest off of here. And then if you had pickles, you would just chop them up. I went this route and just went with the dill salad cubes so I didn't have to worry about chopping anything up. It's more than just pickles in there. I'm not exactly sure what all is in there, but we're gonna go with it. I think it'll be just fine. I was just trying to save a very messy step. 
Okay, I'm gonna add all my ingredients to this bowl and we're gonna use a hand mixer to mix them. I've got eight ounces of softened cream cheese. I need two tablespoons of sour cream, about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. We only need like a half a teaspoon of lemon juice, so I'm not even gonna get my juicer out. I'm just going to squeeze it with my hand. And then we're just gonna add salt and pepper to taste. Now I'm just gonna take my hand mixer and mix this for one to two minutes or until it's really fluffy. Okay, I would say that is smooth and fluffy. So now let's continue on. Next, we're gonna add in about a half a cup of this Colby Jack cheese. You could use cheddar, you can use whatever cheese you want, obviously. I'm also going to add in our pickles. The original recipe calls for a cup and a half, so I've got three fourths a cup here. And I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of fresh dill. Now let's just mix this all together and then it'll be ready to go in the fridge. Now this just looks like a lot of cling wrap. But what I did is just took two long pieces of them and made like an X with them. So I've got one piece laying this way and one piece on top of it laying this way. Comes off on camera, right? No. Okay, so right here in the center of this cling wrap, we are going to transfer our cream cheese. This is very liquidy. I'm really hoping this hardens in the refrigerator like it's supposed to. I mean, this is a pretty large cheese ball, just half of the recipe. I can't ima imagine if I'd used the whole recipe. Now we're just gonna take the sides and pull them up to the top and we're gonna close it and create that good ball shape. At least I'm hoping that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're attempting to do. I'm gonna put it inside of this bowl here just to kind of help keep it shape. And this is going in the fridge for about two hours. Okay, so I've got a little bit of time before I need to start on my third recipe because I've got a couple of hours that I'm waiting on the first two. So we're gonna take a little break. It is very cold and rainy and dreary outside today. And we have recently become addicted to this hot chocolate. It is so good. It's dark hot chocolate. I don't use as much as it tells you to use. Yeah, it says four tablespoons with eight ounces of hot milk. I use like half of that. I think four would be a little too much for my liking, but this is the best hot chocolate we've ever tried and it came from Thrive Market. I've worked with Thrive Market many times in the past and I will continue to work with them because I love their service and they are very kindly sponsoring today's video. We have been members of Thrive Market for quite some time now and I've mentioned it before, we love getting a lot of our pantry staples from them, but it's also fun to try new things and you're not just trying it blindly. I love that I can read reviews of the items before I purchase them, but Thrive Market works directly with your favorite organic brands so that you get the highest quality products at the best price. A couple of my favorites are their olive oil, their organic olive oil. It's so good. We go through it really quickly. And then another favorite of mine that I've recently discovered, and we, we just can't, we can't stop using it, is this marinara sauce. It's so good. Our family chose the membership option that is for a year, but you can do month to month if you prefer that. I don't know about y'all, but I do most of my shopping, whether it be grocery shopping, shopping for Christmas presents, shopping for everyday things online. And that's one great thing about Thrive Market. You don't have to get dressed and go to the store. You get to shop from the convenience of your home and have it shipped directly to your door. And when you hit that $49 threshold, your order is gonna ship for free. It ships with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouses. And yes, I love to buy a lot of our pantry staples that we go through consistently, but they have so much more than just pantry staples on their website. They also have sustainable meat and seafood, and then they have non-toxic cleaning and beauty products. Plus, if you have a particular lifestyle or diet restrictions, you can shop those directly on Thrive Market's website. So if you are doing vegan or keto, you can go and choose that and it will show all of the products that match that description. And one last thing that I love about Thrive is that with every paid membership, they also gift a paid membership to a low income family. To date, Thrive Market has donated $4 million of healthy groceries to families in need. And I've mentioned I've been sponsored by Thrive in the past and they have always offered a really great deal to new customers who come from my video, but the deal is even better right now. So if you've been thinking about it, but you just haven't done it yet, now is the time to do it. Go to my description box, click the link there, and when you join Thrive Market today, you're gonna get 
30% off of your first order plus a free gift. I've never seen a deal that good, so now is the time. Okay, it's been about an hour. Now it's time to get started on our next and last appetizer. This is gonna be another twist on a favorite of ours. So I shared the meatball recipe that it was a twist on something that I always make. We really love the Rotel sausage cream cheese dip. We make that a lot and serve it with like the Scoops tortilla chips. But today we're gonna turn those into mini crescent rolls. Very simple. It's all the same ingredients. You're just adding crescent rolls. Let's do it. I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 375. And we're gonna brown up some sausage. So I'm heating up this pan here and we're just going to brown a pound of brown sausage. Okay, we're gonna start by mixing our ingredients that go on the inside of our crescent roll dough. I've got one pound of ground sausage that I did cook, crumble, and drain. I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese and a can of Rotel. Now I did get absolutely all of the juices out of this. So you don't want there to be any juices in this at all. Now I'm just gonna mix all of this together and we'll just set it to the side while we prep our crescent rolls. Now, I've got two rolls or two cans of crescent rolls. So technically there are 16 rolls in here, but we're gonna cut each one in half and we're gonna end up making 32 rolls. Okay, so all I did was cut it in half lengthwise. I used my pizza cutter and just went down. So you're just gonna make two long triangles out of each and every single one. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. They look like elongated shark's teeth. Tell me I'm wrong. Anyway, so now what we're gonna do is just fill each of these. This is just one can. The other can is over there, so I'll have to repeat this. I just didn't have enough room on here. But there's 16 little triangles here. I've got a small cookie scoop. I'm gonna come in with our cream cheese filling and pop a little thing of cream cheese filling on there and then roll it up. Okay. 32 little mini crescent rolls are done. These are going in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes. It has been a couple of hours. Our cream cheese ball feels pretty firm. We're going to roll it in the extra cheese and then a little lemon zest and dill. I've got a piece of wax paper here just to kind of help with the mess, but I'm gonna spread this stuff out and then we're gonna roll the cheese ball. My official taste testers, Cole doesn't want to be on camera, but he's in there munching down and just so happy. I'm in here trying, I'm starting to taste all of this, but I'm trying to wait on Steven, but Steven's on a phone call. It's Friday when I'm filming this, so he's at work in the office and I've been trying to wait on him, but I just can't. This dill pickle cheese ball Maybe one of my favorite things I've ever, favorite cheese balls I've ever tried. And I love a good cheese ball, but I love the pickle flavor of this. And then that extra dill in it, and you get just a little hint of that lemon juice. Man, that's good. Moving on to these little mini crescent rolls. They're so cute. They turned out perfect. That is perfection. I love this dip wrapped in a crescent roll dough. Are you kidding me? This is good. Now it's time for some of the meatballs with the cranberry sauce. I think I like that better than with the grape jelly. I didn't even know that was possible because I love those and we always go to a New Year's Eve party and I always take those. This year I'm totally gonna make it this way. My official taste tester has come out of the office and he is about to dig in. So go right, right ahead. Let's go with the sausage and croissant. Oh, okay. It's the Rotel dip inside of a... Mmm. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a nice touch. In yeah. There, inside of the croissant like that. Yeah. Get a little bit of the spiciness now from it. Yeah. But you know what I was thinking? I used regular cream cheese. 
what if I would have used the jalapeno cream cheese with that? Yeah. That would have that. just like elevated it that much more. I think so, yeah. So if you like spicy, I would recommend doing that. Yeah, that's good though. All right, I'm excited to see your opinion on this. Mmm. Mmm. Right? Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. That's good, isn't it? Man. Wow. I see and I taste the dill. Yes. There's some definite dill flavor in there coming out strong. Yep. And now these are very similar to the cocktail meatballs that I make all the time, but I changed one ingredient, so. Okay. So this is definitely better than doing the grape jelly. I think the grape jelly just, I don't know, it's just way too sweet. Okay. For me, but. I mean, I didn't know what I was missing until I tried this. So. Right. And this, I did put a little bit of barbecue sauce in there too. So that adds a different level yep. as well. So, so you approve of everything on your plate. Mm. This is really good. Yay. Sweetheart, I'm really glad that you liked everything. So what is your favorite? What surprised you the most? <laughs> yeah. That right there is really good, really, really good. It is. It's I would so say yummy. My top, I guess if I would rank them, I mm -hmm. would say this would be number one. The uh, meatballs would be number two. Okay. And then the Rotel would come in at number three. I mean, with the Rotel, it's very, you know, similar flavors. You didn't really right. not I didn't much change, change anything. there. Yeah. So, so you're used to that. It's I'm just, just used to that, yeah. yeah. It was but just still, a, it was in the breading. It's instead still of the, the good Rotel sausage right. flavor dip that you love. Oh, so. yeah. I think next time I am going to try it, though, with the jalapeno cream cheese, because I think mm -hmm. that would just, like, step it up just a little bit mm -hmm. and add a little more spice to it, and that's what we prefer anyway. So I wish I would have thought of that. Mm. Okay. I know. There's time. Look, I got another. Uh-oh, you got to go get some more. Got to have some more dip for that Yeah. One. All right, you heard it. Mm. This is perfect for the holiday season, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. All three recipes were a huge hit in our house, and I know they would be perfect for any holiday get-together that you've got. I mean, you could do it any time of year, but it's perfect for this time of year. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit that red subscribe button before you go. And don't forget to go check my description box and click the link to go check out Thrive Market. Don't forget that today, if you join Thrive Market, become a member, you're gonna save 30% on your first order and you're gonna get a free gift. Thanks y'all and I'll see you next time. Bye. Beep. <laughs> that plant needs help. Leave my plant alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's <pathetic. laughs> It's so old. Look at that thing. It's almost 10 years old. Oh my goodness, Mandy. I think it's Mandy? Yeah. Like I'm the only one responsible for you it. You are. Whatever, I'm not even the one who waters it. Hmm. He waters it. I don't even do anything to it. I just come in here and stare at it and say, that's ugly. Oh man, it needs to be watered. Oh boy. Anyway. <clears throat> hey beautiful. Just tell me about it. Tell me about this outro. I got you. <laughs> I got you.